Hello and welcome to watching baseball. There's bases. There's a ball. It's a sport. We're watching it. Thanks for joining us. Everyone that's been following and watching this with us every single day. We appreciate it. They've been fun to do. Oh, foul ball. Foul ball. Foul ball. Uh, this is the 2008 World mm. Series. Mm. This is Jake. This is John Boy. We have a podcast called Talking Baseball. Go subscribe. It's got its own YouTube channel. It's got its own podcast feed. A lot of people listen, and you can be one of the others that joins and listens as well. We do interviews with players every day. Not every day, but a lot, a lot of times. So anyway, Jake, we just had a little conversation beforehand that I want to share with the viewing public. Okay. In eight years, from 2001 yeah. to 2008, we saw four expansion teams reach the World Series. 2001, we saw the Diamondbacks, and we saw the Marlins in 03. And 97. And 97, but that doesn't, that We're fucks up the, yeah. Um, and then the Rockies Last in year. 2007, and now the Rays, Tampa Bay, in 2008. I, at the time, I was in college, a freshman or sophomore in college, whenever this was going on. I probably didn't like it because I was like, all oh, these shitty teams, blah, blah, and just a punk attitude about sure. it. Thinking about it now and like the behind the scenes people of baseball were probably very proud of their sport. Like there was someone that gave when they, they said there would be expansion teams and they'll be like, each expansion team will make the World Series in the next 20 years. But they like didn't really believe it. Yeah. They're like, I hope they believe that. And then they kind of did. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, this is game... Three, three Game of three. the World Series. There's the weird rain out in this World Series and all that, but tied at one one right now. The series is yes, and the Phillies are up by one run. And this was brought to you by the shop at John Boy Media Shop and you can get yourself this. Is it a little bird? No, no we don't it's sell a birds. Shirt, Zach. We don't sell birds. Get the bird off the damn screen. Actually, Zach, if you could have... Oh, a, there's one bird. Oh. <laughs> if you could have had a tiny little bird there, and then it blows up, and then a shirt. Ooh. Unless that takes you My too long. My bird flew away. Because we just gave you like 20 of these. I thought the flew away would be better than the exploding bird. But. Okay, it's a fake exploding bird, and then it flew okay. away. But most importantly, the, the shirt at and the get shop. get that shirt. Yeah, thank you very much. We kind of got a powerhouse Phil's team, man. Uh, the lineup is deep. Deep. Rollins, Utley, Howard. Pat the Bat. Schmidt. Schmidt? Schmidt. Who's Schmidt in this story? Third baseman. Michael Jack Schmidt? Yeah. I think he <laughs> retired at this point. No, I, he I, I came. I made a double check. See, you just didn't watch this live because he check. made a special appearance. Shane Victorino, the flying Hawaiian. Jason Worth was the other big bat I was missing. Chooch. Carlos Ruiz. Pat the Bat had an awful Pretty series. good lineup. Um, and good pitching, too. Cole Hamels, Brad Lidge, uh, Brett Myers, Jamie Moyer, Joe Blanton. Um, and this Rays team, I, I think I was reading that they never finished higher than, like, fourth in the East until this season. And Evan Longoria was their guy for a while. Do you want to psychoanalyze me? The artist formerly known as BJ Upton. Yeah, Melvin. Um, he was there. Do you want to psychoanalyze me? Carl Crawford, Carlos Pena, Rocco Baldelli, manager, your guy, Ben Sobris, with good pitching. And now we can psychoanalyze you, I guess. When the Red Sox played the Rockies? Sure. David Price. Back back then. Scott Casimir. Part of me would have rather seen the Red Sox win. They had already won in 04, so I didn't really care Matt about Garza. that. Than the Rockies. And I definitely was rooting so hard against the Rays. Okay, interesting. So I think I was just, I don't know why that is. I, ne I never wanted these. You don't have that divisional pride? The AL East. Opposite. Our, t our, our like, Rays like, are better than your Phil's. You know what it was? Because I looked down on the Rays so much because they were the yeah. the bad Rays that if they were Stay good, young. it was kind of scary. It was like, oh, yeah. we have to worry about these guys now? The and, and now we do. Now they yeah. are really good. and. They are the biggest thorn in the Yankees going into the season. That might not start. Let's just start the, the show. Yeah, hopping into the top of the eighth. Phil Four, three, fills up by one. On this is a Ryan bad. Madsen this looks like Upton. Yeah, it's a bad upload Upton. that we have of the full game yeah. here. Ball one outside. It's not good quality. Oh, so what is this? The save could come in the eighth inning. Why this is, is the this two, real? Four hitters for the Rays. And if the Phillies get it, the save could come right here. The, the most important leadoff hitter. 
in an inning. I mean, they had to explain it in earlier in the on. game or something. Why, Why is are Tim they? McCarver elevated a Ryan Madsen, who you guys Madsen saw be terrible with the Dodgers as good as last playoffs, two playoffs ago? There he is. The second half oh. of the season and down the stretch. Why? Why were they sitting like that? I don't know. <laughs> Do you want to be? Do you want to be Buck or McCarver? Easier mechanics. I'll be Buck. Lead to yeah. <laughs> Get on up. <laughs> when I'm watching this, Ryan Masson's trying to throw fastballs and then mix in his off speed. Tell me mine. Hey, I have a theory. I've theorized something. God, what's going on with your headspace right now? The theory I have... Psychoanalysis, theories... The theory I have is why Joe Buck said so little words early in his career. He couldn't see the field. It's because McCarver said so many words Mm. that he had to balance it out. You know? Like if there was one of those bars where like we're pushing back and forth, Mm. McCarver pushed way over here and Joe Buck only had this much room to work with. The word limit. Oh, double barrel. Casey Romero and Brad Lidge. Mm. The lefty and the righty getting loose. J.C. Romero. A lot of good lefty innings. It's Carlos Pena. He's got a job in media. wonder if he gets a media hit Three, here. Tough play for You're not Rollins. getting up, dude. Goes down to get it, throws, base hit. Flies. Flies. That's a good play by Rollins. That's what Buck just said, too. Upton can fly. Good, good broadcasters. Me and Joe Buck. Upton to pull and had too far to go for it. Right there. Double yeah. clutch. Couldn't After that clutch, he's done. Upton beats it easily. So now the tying really is on for the yeah. Rays, and with nobody out, Carlos Pena. Both will be Uptons back. when they came up were like stupid quick. And I think BJ had just the G. Right here. Matson with that velocity. Well, for nine in the World Series. <laughs> Slow to the plate. See what Joe Madden Taking off here. Yeah. I think what he's done yeah. Is yeah. Rays. Joe you Madden, your guy. Jump, take off. What happened? It's got ear flaps, but he's wearing them up because he's quirky, you know. On, the take off, kid. Oh, oh. Ooh. This isn't a great double box. You'd rather just have that one angle where you could see yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't care. Especially the if they're going to hang on for it for that, then yes, don't do the double screen. Has gone two and zero, an ERA of zero point eight. Zach always puts the TV square, mm. and now that we're into widescreen, I wonder how he's. I wonder if he texted me and was like, "What should I do?" And then I came up with a solution. You eat a bug. Eat two bugs. Here we go. Ninety-five. That Longoria? Oh, yeah. Carlos Pena, 0 for 2 with a walk. That was against Moyer, a, a much different opponent here okay. in Ryan Madsen. Nice stat. Oh, what was it? I didn't, I didn't read it. It's okay. And Pena up on the count here, 2 and 0. Come on, Madsen. Dodgers fans hate him. They traded for him, right? And he run. was just brutal. Let's have a blast. 2-0? Oh. It was one of those, it was a Dave Roberts, like, how can you possibly think we're going back to Ryan Madsen? Uh, they should definitely have the hit and run on here. I think it's a run and hit. Like, Upton, you can take that bag anyways, but Pena, look for the heater. That's the time yeah, run at sure. First with nobody out. Pena was ready to launch. It didn't look like uh, Upton went. He took a shorter lead, which I thought he was either being deceptive or <laughs> even a power hitter like apparently just nothing. It and fouls a 2-0 pitch off the other way. Big pitch here. 2-1 pitch, guys. Get going, BJ. Yeah. 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 Stairs in. See, that's the angle they should have just showed yeah. us. Why'd they show? If they have that in their arsenal. Yeah. There's a clock. Clock, Citizens Bank. One o'clock in the morning in the east. Dude, I know I'm not smart when it comes to certain things. Sure. It would have taken me three minutes to figure out what time it was. 
Is this Citizens Bank? I think so, right? And the velocity is starting to it's a nice place. I've been there. It's small and it, pl- it feels small and like. Oh. That was a nice pitch. Probably loud during the World Series. Oh, you know, you get the people cheering and screaming. 2 2. He's going to bounce it. Take second. The nation's original capital. What do you think about that? Nothing until DJ Upton takes that base. Maybe he's scared that if he takes second, they... Eh, no, there's no outs. need to get to Longoria. Yeah, never mind. I was just trying to find a reason. Charlie! Manual. I was just trying anywhere to find a reason. Oh, now it's got to be a pickoff. Upton stays put. What's, what's strikes out Ooh. Let's see that check swing. <laughs> Why didn't he run? <laughs> didn't look like Carlos Pena picked that ball up real well and yeah. a check swing. I mean, I'll tell you this. Back in 1976, so there's no way that was a swing. Yeah. Times during the not even close. Gotta start walking to first there. Here. And here yeah. Is a big moment again, Evan Longoria, who I guess the maybe they were like, hey, Evan Longoria's coming up this inning. Back. Just stay still. Run out of something. Well, but still, Pena rolls over one here. Upton takes <sighs> off and no Never throw. mind. All right, so Pena didn't want Joe him. Got us. Pena didn't want him stealing while he was at that. I think Carlos Pena had a "don't distract me" situation going on because there's that makes no sense. Or maybe like, dude, think about the thought process we just had. Like, oh, he's he not going to go with through. Longoria up. Once again, the best Took it easily. To to maybe we got duped, just like the yeah. Fills. I don't know because now they're like, hey, be careful. There's a base open, double play. With now you can kind of pitch around Longoria. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Got to keep an eye on it. Otherwise, he'll keep going to yeah, third. Yeah, he might go to third this time. 21 show. stolen bases this postseason for Joe Madden's team. They led How old is Longoria? 142 during Handsome. the regular season. Now Upton is running. Throw to third is not Love in time. It. Gets Love it. Love it. Agent of tied. chaos. The legs of B.J. Love Upton it. all the way around the bases. I l- it's four yep. four. Agent of Chaos is a great and a throwing error. And its momentum Ruiz, is so good. Like as soon as you Longoria, steal second, don't let them catch three. their breath and, Longoria, and just go to third. And shit will happen. Like, up, tell me how this shows up in the analytics Longoria world. And a genuine question, not not a shot fired at the nerds. A chopper to Jimmy Rollins, an infield single, steals second. Steals third, ball hits him, scores a run. Base, is Longoria grounds to Utley for the I mean, Rays, I don't think, are going to have a hit this inning, in Good theory. I mean, infield in the single by B.J. Upton, but... BJ Upton's trip. Well, according Around to stats, that means nothing. Now Melvin. Hit. So 22-year-old rookie Longoria in this. And last year, we had 22-year-old rookie Pedroia and Tula. No. So this this is infielders that did a lot, but also semi didn't reach their potential. I mean, and this is at the peak of baseball not promoting their game to the youth at all. Yes, that's a great point. It's a great point. You have all these young guys coming up, and MLB was like, YouTube, no fucking way we'll put our st- our highlights on there. Facebook, no chance. And like, there was some cool stuff happening. Yeah, and they just didn't didn't promote it. And it lasts for a decade. And, like, Pedroia reached his potential. His body just fell apart. Longoria is still a really good career, but people thought he was, like, he had Hall of Fame lock potential. And too low. Obviously, his body fell apart. Should we fast forward? Yeah, to the bottom nine, right? In the bottom of the ninth. I go walking in my sleep. BJ up and stole second. Stole the bases. You were a big J.P. Howell guy. Oh, yeah, you used to have his picture on my pillow. Bottom nine? Is that where we're going? Yeah, bottom nine. I knew J.P. Howell went to University of Texas, which is weird. J.P. Howell struck out the only two... Good year this year for J.P. Howell. 
Also picked. 2.22 ERA, 89 innings. And now here in the bottom of the ninth inning, it's his inning. job to get it to the tenth. With Bruntlett, Victorino, and Feliz coming up. I like the long sleeves with these unis. Eric Bruntlett will step to the plate for the first time tonight. With the Rays? The yeah. I like those Rays uniforms. Played, he took the first I like them with the David sleeves. Price. Did they they rebrand before this season? This is season? Devil Rays. These are Devil Rays. The he took over for a defensive switch. But that, that, the way, that jersey, the they don't have those anymore? over for Pat Burrell in the seventh. Let's see. And he finally gets his first at bat here in the bottom of the ninth. There he was in game I feel two. like whenever they do the retro Taking stuff, David they go Price full out. retro. Those, like, kind of neon colors in it. Yeah, this is the Rays. It is? Yeah. I, I thought, was going to say, those I are... Wiki said they were the devil. Rays. This is the uniform they wore, they still kind of wear. 07 was the last year. Yeah, and this was 08. So they rebranded to make the World Series. Smart. Grant Balfour gets loose now in the bullpen again for Tampa Bay. Balfour. Run made it's a such a lever last night. The game ended with Howard up, representing the tying run at the plate. Bruntlet, huh? Hey. <laughs> You're the up? I mean, I'm just the what he was talking about. That, that's a ball. That's a ball. Okay. Okay. Blue. Fair. I also kind of like when an ump screams no and why. No, that's low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks, Blue. Strike one. Ooh. He just getting ahead Jean of Jolie. his attackers. Yeah. But it's it's because you know the that's going to be the manager's yeah. question. Yeah. yeah. Where is that? Yeah. You already know. Don't be an asshole. Bottom of the no, that's two inches two wide to the right. Because that's always. Ooh. Not ideal. Not ideal. I wonder if Shane Victorino was in the batting cage bunting because that's what he's going to be required to do right here, one would think. As Bruntlett is hit Good by job, a pitch. Ken. So, like, so McCarver, his brain goes, he goes one inning. Shane Victorino will probably now sack bunt. Right. And instead of saying that, right. he has to wrap two other sentences yeah. around it. Yeah. I wonder if Shane Victorino is practicing bunting because then he wants the audience to go, why, Tim? Because that's probably what he's going to do now. And it's just very obnoxious the way he delivers everything yeah. he says. No you're, kind of, you're with me on this one, right? Oh, full on. And it's apparently it's a switch. thing. Okay. I had a couple people that DM and are like, yeah. Because I remember in. people saying Tim McCarver's Victorino awful, but like Family Guy up. did a sketch on it and stuff. So. We'll oh, okay. Double yeah. switch as Joe Madden talks to Field and Colbreth about what he wants to do. Probably the right I guess like I wasn't like on Twitter hitter, that's where sure. the will and actively and getting everyone's opinions on things yeah. back then. Right the number nine spot. But yeah, he's bad. So How long does McCarver do this? Why? Is he still doing it? Bidding? Someone said he still does it for a specific team. Balfour takes I don't know. over. Victorino coming up. Okay. So that is 136. Or so. Oh, damn. The clock and close. There are very few who have left. When I was 12 and my dad brought home the first watch that didn't have the numbers on it, I was like, get over yourself. Why? And why not? It's a good game. It may be late, but it's a good game. 4-4, bottom of the ninth inning. Leadoff man is on. Balfour is into the game. Ben Zobrist is in right. The pitcher will bat in the number seven spot. Zobrist will hit ninth. For those keeping track at home to my fun manager game, Rocco Baldelli's in this the series. Now is on the so we have, a, we have, Balfour, we have one We have one of them. Constantly talking to himself, yelling at himself. Australian, right? Yeah. And Shane Victorino. Two Islanders. How about that? Ben Zobrist into the game as they showed, and I think he becomes an important factor soon. He wins some World Series. No, I'm in this game. But he also wins some World Series. Strike. One. Strike. If you get the runner over, Shane the says that was low. One for thirty-two with runners in scoring position. Shut they have not driven high. in a run with runners in scoring position. I lived in Ronert Park, in California, so you're during this World Series. I remember watching it in the house I rented. 
Sonoma State College. Buster giving up one of their best hitters. Right. That one gets away. It kicks right back to Navarro, whose throw goes into center. Brundlett will go to third. That's baseball, and baby. The run 90 feet away. <laughs> That's baseball. So they tied it on a steal, throw away, go home on the throw away. And now they're about the to take, now the other team is about to give it away in the same fashion. And managers. So I know we're only watching snippets, Jake. Sure. But Hello. no, they're all blending together. Okay. What was the World wow. Series where we were like, this is bad baseball? Was that 04? Uh, yeah, there's Red Sox and uh, the other team combined for five. But that was, oh, so that was 04. I mean, we, we did it earlier yeah. today, but we're four years apart. But I was going to say, this is another, like, this is bad baseball. <laughs> I mean, B.J. Upton forced the issue. Yes, this is. This, well, and I mean, it's not like it's a routine play. Like, Diana Rivaro is turning around for a pass ball. Eat it. <laughs> right, but he, if the throw's there, he almost had him. But it was just a foot off. It's just a... Uh, it's a bad situation. I mean, because it's, it's not a play you practice routinely. <laughs> no, because, again, like, you know, you don't have two guys there. The second baseman wasn't even around. Yeah. Bounced off the brick wall right to him. Hey, what is uh, Victorino's, like, final stats look like? Because he was a dude for a while. Solid. I don't think he was a dude. Well, for a little bit, he was a name in baseball. He was a good player. But I mean, speed doesn't hold up in baseball. Is this one of the fat? This is a fast for a two thousands team. I feel like this is a lot of speed here. A lot of speed. Is Carl Crawford here? Carl Crawford's on the Rays. Upton. Upton. Victorino. The guy Eric Bruntlett. He may walk Greg Dobbs. Who's been announced as the pinch hitter for Feliz, and then use a five. So I think we're about to get some Rays fun stuff before. here. So all right, hold on, use but the five man infield for Carlos Ruiz. You don't know what Joe Madden Shane Victorino. He put together he's four. Someone, I think he's calling in. OPS and OP, right OPS field. doesn't really like Shane Victorino. Used Jake. to no. be an infielder. He had a couple years. So Swipe some bags. Hit a little bit. By Joe yeah. More fun than good. Go get your Might be the case squad. there. Played get a lot. 07 to 11. He had a, so we got Zobris playing the glove game. He's going to go I from right field to play the, the five-man infield, which is in with some serious Rays whoa Dobbs stuff at the time. And you can see oh, Matt Stairs talking to his two outfielders from a distance. You've got Dobbs coming up, then Ruiz, and I'll say Ruiz has had very Carl good Crawford. Bats okay, two left hands in the pants. The which yeah, I was running that. Bad. Yeah, I mean, there's two guys doing the same walk. Up, then Ruiz, and I'll say Ruiz has had very good <laughs> I mean, bats in this glove and hand is in there. The best at bats for, is it cold? In the last two games. Could That's be. Right. I mean, Philly in October, right? Madden's got ear flaps. He's not using. Dobbs, however, no. Hey, and if you're looking for a two-man outfield, young Carl Crawford Dobbs and B.J. Upton, that's not bad. Who's the left fielder? Yes. Now Navarro's going to go out and talk again. Just out there for three minutes. You got you have Crawford in left center and Upton in right center would be my Crowd guess. Saying, We've been here long enough. No, I just mean Let's who is it. the starting Crawford. Who are the three outfielders in? So Zobrist wasn't baseman. right. Oh, okay. He just came Short in. So he comes in. And I don't know what you call that guy. He's the right fielder <laughs> playing up the middle. <laughs> like McCarver doesn't realize that was his best line of the night. No. Like that was a so John Madden line. <laughs> While he's drawn on the screen, too. Oh, very, call this guy? very Madden esque. You've got Crawford in left, Upton Moore in right center, but he's extremely shallow. So. And right field is wide open. And they're walking him. I was going to say, that's not for a lefty. Intentionally walk Greg Dobbs. Get Chucha. Just so you know, still has Matt Stairs on his bench, Sotaguchi, and Chris Coast. 
That is so Taguchi. <laughs> what it's scary here, because you have Ruiz coming up, right? And if Balfour just misses any spot right. on the outside, sure. you can just slap one. Yeah. And... I mean, you got bodies over there. It's not like not an outfielder. It's not like Ruiz is Jason Giambi or Teixeira who well, are who are going or like those guys are going to like ah oh, fuck your shift. I'm going to do what I do. Don't speak for Ch- you. Don't know Chuch's pull ratio stats. I don't, but I think the mentality on him here, like he's not too proud. He's to not, not too proud. Yeah, I'm talking more about Ch- that. Chuch had some big years. What year is this? Oh eight. Yeah. Okay, so this year he hit 219 with a 620 OPS. But he went deep in the second, Jim. My thing was he's not he's big year. He's not a guy that's going to come and say I don't care about your infield shift. I'm going to hit it in the I'm going to hit it hard. You know, he'll be like, "All right, I'll slap a fucking single." 2012 in 114 games so, where he's at a 935 OPS. But Grant can't pitch him on the outside. Doesn't want him. Who hit 219 during the regular season? Ooh. The cross side. And when the whole crowd reacts to a ball like that, well, I mean, that's, he, that's something for He me. walks him, it's game over. This is crazy managing by Madden. Well, what else do you do? Just fucking play baseball. After a high fastball, it's one and one. Ruiz in game two had two walks. Two Trust your pitcher tonight, to, to try and get Greg walk. Dobbs out. Yeah, I mean, Greg Dobbs isn't a good look. But still, I mean, you create the out at every base. You give yourself slightly more options. And had to pass through waivers. To get there successfully and then called back. I don't remember how the they win this. Is trying to somehow you're going to like the way you look. Add. Add. That's a nice pitch. 96, baby. Pump it, Grant. I, mean, I don't know if it's the bad quality. It looked like a two-seamer, too. Uh, nah, I just uh, had a little movement. Really. in a little, yeah. The odds are against it. The odds are against it. So you're throwing more cheese or yet? Well, you're scared to dirt Yacker one. City? I mean, Navarro already had a pass ball, and that's Ooh, game over. Shook him off. I don't know about he, that, Grant. Dude, because he's probably calling for something in the dirt. Ruiz See? Ruiz probably off. called for something in the dirt, it off speed, and he does not years. trust Ruiz, Ruiz to block is hitting. it. Diana well, Navarro is catchers, catcher. catchers. But you get what I'm saying? Kind of. He's probably like, I'm not throwing a breaking ball on the ground. I'm gonna I, d- I think you're thinking of a bad athlete mentality. Like, if you're Diane or Navarro and you're a major league catcher, you want to believe you can make the block if he throws the right pitch. Oh, that's exactly what I'm saying. But Grant Balfour is shaking him off, saying, no, I don't trust you. I don't want my pass ball to lose us I think game. Grant's just thinking he can't, he can't touch my fastball. Ruiz is trying to do it. Heavy breaths. I don't think he wants to throw anything on speed. It. Everything has been up from he's... Balfour. Which if Ruiz can put the wood on one of those pitches up, could Let's lead the to pine tar. fly or something deep enough to win the game. On the other hand, fastballs up are Balfour's strikeout pitch. Chop to third. Play at the plate. Phillies take game three. 45 feet. I need to see a replay. That makes it. That gives the Phillies a 2-1 lead in the World Series. Yeah. I mean, you're pro- You're still in a tough situation. You're probably not getting out of it without a run, but <laughs> that stings a little more. Yeah, if they don't do all that nonsense, you still have a runner at third, and he probably doesn't come home on that because it's not forced to come home, which gives Longo more time to go to first. I don't think he can play that game. If first base is open, you think he bolts home on that hit? Yeah, it's a tapper. 
two intentional walks and then this little squibber up the third baseline that Longoria couldn't do anything with. Imagine if Longo made a play out of that. He'd have to throw it like between his legs. He almost had to just run and kick it to him. Well, I don't know. After an hour I mean, it's an impossible play. Start, but if Longoria can flip it to the side, he just has to catch it. He doesn't have to tag him. I mean, yeah, yeah. Obviously, end of the day, that's not a great flip. No, but. I'm not saying you make What the if he play takes one more step and dives to and whips it? <laughs> I mean it'd be heroic, but it's a, you gotta put the toss a little closer, man. Dude, I don't think he has that much control right there. It'd be an amazing, an no faulting start, him on that three, Even if he gets it there, minutes. it might like it could be safe. Game three. I just don't know why Joe Madden didn't think to play the third baseman. Right? Or sober, Steven. Um, all right, so that's how they won that game. and Flips the World Series. The celebration is kind of weird because there was a rain out in the middle of it. Right? Did, did they push it to the next day even? I forget. Yeah, was, yeah. It was yeah. Like, and then they finished where they left off, yeah. I believe. Dutch. Right. For the Tampa Bay Rays. What's that? Dutch not finished. I mean, honestly, though, I get it now, like the countries. Coming to a World Series game knowing you're really about to win the World Series. It's just a party. <laughs> yeah. That's foul. That big Eric Hinsky? <laughs> uh, Forgot about him. Now he's got the ear flops down. I think he's a bad rookie of the year winner. Those are some of your favorites. No, Chapin's favorites. Well, they're your, ironically, your favorites. I don't know. I don't know many. Like you... I think I would be into that. You I don't, don't know think if it's I've a ever... flex that Eric Hinsky won the rookie of the year is what I'm saying. Oh, no. Yes. Not at all. Wow. Rookie of the year is cool. It does not mean anything in the grand scheme of things. Strike two. That's two. Eh, but Ump just wants to get it over with. Sure. In 1974, no one thinks to even consider that a swing. That's tough. That wasn't a swing. It was called a swinging strike. I M O. Uh oh, here we go. There's another angle you won't be able to see from. It's a check swing. Uh, show the side angle. If it's not above or from the side, it doesn't matter. It's the whole point. Brad Lidge Redemption Series. Got him. Nice that was a nice pitch. Oh, I like that celebration a lot. Yeah. Oh, Ryan Howard coming in. Dog pile. That's a that's a Philly World Series. That's a good. This is a good celebration. Who are those three on the side just having their own fun? <laughs> Guys, we're over here. Yeah, Worth was like, let me get in there. Bullpen, late tackle in. Take his shirt. Take his shirt. Was good. You like fireworks? Yeah. Love fireworks. Yeah. You know, like how you know that saying, like how could you not be romantic about baseball? Sure. That's how I'm with fireworks. See, I think I could flip you on that in like five seconds. In which way? I think you like a fireworks show. I don't That's think what you I'm like talking playing about. with fireworks. Oh, not at all. Exactly. I like watching fireworks. That's why I said I could put that on its head in five seconds. Well, it's never my intention. I think you knew that. Like, I like playing with fireworks, too. I don't like playing with fireworks. That's what I'm saying. In the firework realm, I like fireworks. But you don't like, you like watching or playing with? Both. <laughs> I don't like playing with them. I know. Well, sober, sad. Like you said, it gets better for him. He doesn't know that yet. Taking all three of his bats. Okay, it doesn't get bad. Adledge. Jeez. Remains perfect. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Brian Howard. Oh, my God. We did it. That's good. Brian Howard. The celebration uh -huh. continues after Fox coverage. Fast forward through the coach book? I don't like the split screen.
They're doing all the individual reactions, which you like. I, but not... Is this the first year we've seen all the individuals? No, some other did it, but I don't like the fucking right. graphics and split screen. Here. Hey, here's a riot to the left, and here's a bunch of grown men reaching their goal now from the right. Yeah. And then some... Just muddying up the whole thing. That's the coach's head. Chale. He went for handshake. Not even excited. In the middle of all that mayhem, there down in the middle of the field is Ken Rosenthal with Brad Lidge. Ken. Listen a little. Brad, <laughs> Ken. Game, three outs away. How tough was it controlling your emotions at that time? Well, it's honestly very hard to control your emotions. Brad right Lidge. Now. I mean, it's a 6'5. I'm so, hoping for so Ken. We're like Ken's Jesus Christ, a little bit yeah. taller. These fans are amazing. Ooh. And my teammates are the best in the world, and I couldn't <laughs> be happier right now. Perfect, Perfect season. How did you do it? With the help of all these guys out here, that's how I did it. 6'5". Carlos Ruiz and everybody, and Chris Coase, and everybody in our bullpen, and everybody behind me. That's how it happened. You realize, like, some people are corny. Like, or, or life is corny sometimes. Yeah. Because, like, that was a Disney middle school movie. You know, we did it. These fans are amazing. <laughs> like, yeah. True. True, though. I'm not going to fault you for it. Well, that was the 2008 World. Got one, Philly. Series. Love that. Goodbye.